Okay, first and foremost, if you're taking an OTT three-way measurement, the biggest thing you have to remember is, most importantly, is we are trying to get the best representation of mass. We are not physicists in this, but what mass is, is we want to get the best representation so we have the most accurate reading for that fruit. On the shaped fruit, this will not apply to every fruit. Right, Jim? Right. But it is to mass. What we want to do. First of all, first thing, the circumference measure is the biggest circumference parallel. Parallel means level to the ground. It does not mean you follow the ribs. If that's high the stem end and slopes to the back of the rib, then you're going to cross over ribs. Okay, is everybody good with that? Did I explain that okay? Parallel to the ground, the biggest circumference. The easiest way I probably could say this is if you could elevate yourself directly over top of that fruit and look down on it and can place a cylinder wherever that cylinder would touch around that pumpkin would be the circumference measurement. All right, we got that. Maybe got some help. We got another help because it goes off the edge. We're going to get that. We're going to actually do the OT. This is Bob McKenzie's fiberglass render that they have in Port Elgin. So what do we got there, guys? John, lift your end up. They're good. Now, they parallel all the ground, guys. Now, you're on this. Now, obviously, we're going to get this big, but it looks pretty good for me right here. 172. 172. Okay, John, you're going to put 172 down for the circumference. Now, what we're going to do is, is I would like you guys to go end-to-end -end measurement. Now, end to end, we're going to go from the highest spot on that pumpkin in the middle and go from the stem end to the blossom end. All right? Then just do end to end, right where it says. End to end. Now, you do not follow the curve of the pumpkin until it hits the ground. You go to its widest point at either end and bring it directly down. You do not follow the curve. You bring it straight down to the ground, you put the one end on it, and you end measure the end to end measurement. How do they look, guys? Are we straight down? Very good. Dad, what do you got there? 99. 99. Okay, we're going to put 99 inches on that. Go ahead and rotate that 90 degrees real quick for me, please. That pumpkin. We're going to do a side to side measurement. Now, highest point, side to side. Now, a lot of times, like I noticed with the Conley pumpkin, people come last year and they say, because it kind of dipped in the back. Well, shouldn't we measure that up north? I'm going to tell you on that, folks. If that tape measure, if that, if that tape measure is, is suspending over, if you've got that tape measure, you're pulling it over, to end to end or side to side, and there's not physically touching the pumpkin, then you are not capturing correct measurements. I can't tell you the exact, but if you got a void area, so you may need to compensate some. Remember, always remember, Best repetition map. Going to, to uh, Steve's pumpkin, it was basically a hop back in the middle. The best place still would have been to take that in the middle. Why? Because it is still wider in the middle and would over it more compensate. And if you don't believe it, to measure forward and back, find it. And even if you need to throw a little mark on there to where you do. So you measure that pumpkin when you're in the field, so you measure it correctly every time you get the measurement. But anyhow, side to side, once again, straight down from the sides to the ground. Do not follow the contour of the pumpkin. Highest point side to side. Best representation of mass. I can't say that enough. We're going to get our three-way measurement. 92. 92 inches. Okay, now we're going to go add those measurements up. We got our revised edition of the chart that we're going to go to. And we're going to get a total OTT. Alright. Now make sure your information is there. But anyhow, we got our OTT measure. What do you come up with that? 363 total inches. Where are we at here, guys? What, what's the, I can't really compare to that. Uh, 1,002 pounds. 1,002 pounds. Okay. Bob, what was the actual weight of that? Where are you at, Bob? 1,061. So that's actually heavy to measure. That. Is that what you come up with, Bob, on the OTT measurement? I can't remember. Can't remember. Okay. All right. Can you get on the site What's that? Yeah, I'm sure it's on the site. But anyhow, we're just going to go quick ahead there. I thank you guys. That is the correct way to uh, make OTT measure. If you have any questions, come see me. Thanks, guys. Round of applause for these guys. You can go to our site.